What's going on, Video Game Voter Vanguard? It's your boy, the Video Game Voter, here with another episode of VIP Voter Initial Plays, where I take an initial look at different games in my library that I've yet to play. So today, we are going to take a look at, and once again, I have left the game case on the other side. Give me one second, real quick. Sorry about that. We're still doing Wii U. And today's game is going to be Assassin's Creed 3. Um, let's take a look at, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Assassin's Creed and the series itself. Here's the back cover. Um, it says, Ignite the Revolution in the American Colony 1775. As a Native American assassin fights to protect his land and his people, he will ignite the flames of a young nation's revolution. So, let's get into a little bit of this gameplay. There's the symbol. This game collects information about how the game behaves. Okay, all that good stuff. Uh, wow. Oh yeah, okay. Skip. About to say, I hope it wasn't forcing me. Let's go to single player. Start the game. What's the old name. Um, constraints. We are just going to do VGV, not VGP, VGV for short. Okay. So far, so good. Let's see if we can skip and get to the actual gameplay. It's kind of weird because it's talking about the colonies, but this looks like modern. Um, this looks like some modern gameplay. I don't know why, but. It just does. <coughs> He's taking a shot with nothing in the glass. Can't skip it, but I can see that the game looks great. You know, so far. Um, I've never played through an Assassin's Creed game just yet. I have uh, experimented with it, but never really put in the time because I know it's one of the larger games, big open world, maybe something I should, ex I absolutely should explore. Um, you know, sometimes it's just not time, but the way I'm going to uh, redo, like to finish the series, I'm going to try to play as much as I can and just, you know, record it. Um, Try not to take up as much space on my hard drive on my PC. So maybe I'll get like, I mean, I have external hard drive where I can just at least save it to that and then, you know, upload it at whatever point and make different playlists for you guys so that you guys can see the gameplay. All right, so this is basically cinematics. It's not going to allow me to skip through it, which kind of is a bummer. You know, I don't like that it forces you to do certain things. Either way, shouldn't be too much longer. Hopefully, that was it. Hmm. Let's see. This is pretty long. I gotta. I must admit, it's a long time. Which it's not good when you're trying to just get into the game. I'd imagine things like that may anger gamers when they're trying to just get started with the game, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's still going. In a couple minutes, it's, I am impatient, but it's not really about that. Again, the graphics still look good, but I kind of want to see the gameplay. Because I've played it on, you know, PS3, um... Can't remember if I played Assassin's Creed on PS4 at all, but you know, so far the graphics are great, cinematics and stuff like that. Yeah, this is pretty long-winded. K. 
cave in the back of a car, van, truck, whatever. I can see that much. Hmm. Man, you should really be able to skip these scenes or some parts of it. Did I just skip something? I hope. I don't know what I did, but it seemed like it skipped at least a little bit. Well, I could be wrong. This is definitely not moving now. Okay, finally. Movements are fluid. Graphics look great. Controls are seem to be simplistic. Um, not sure. Not sure. You know the time frame. I thought it was more like the medieval times thing, but I'm not sure what that's on its hip. I mean, it looks great for it to be on Wii U. You know, I wouldn't say that. Will you be the typical platform that you would get, you know, a game like Assassin's Creed on? Um, but from the looks at looks of it, it looks like it's pretty good on here. Granted, I'm a Nintendo fanboy, big Wii U fan, so and so far everything looks good. Got another long cutscene appears. Put something up, not sure what it was. Look like some hieroglyphics or secret uh, coding written on the wall there. Appears to go in a cave. I guess there's certain parts you can skip. Now I'm finally controlling it again. Only gripe I got with this game so far is um, not really being able to skip past the cutscenes. I feel like you should give the gamer a choice. I'm assuming when they do stuff like that, it's basically loading, you know, maybe the next scene. Okay, so now it's like giving me a start menu when I hit start. Basically, these have to play through. Vibration mode. I slid down that hill. I'll slide down again, probably. Alright, so you run with the right trigger. I'm not sure if you automatically jumped or not. Yeah, so far, so good. Um, it's obviously telling a story. But again, to me that should be up to the gamer um i can see me wanting to play through this i always try, i'm looking to try to do different things um and definitely dive into my library a little bit but um you know so that's the initial play for assassin's creed 3 i picked this up for 4.99 at wii u i'm I say at wii u 4.99 4.49 at uh gamestop so it's a cheap game if you want to go over there and check it out is the front cover Made by Ubisoft, Ubisoft, I don't know what, they, what you guys call it, but there's that. So, appreciate you guys tuning in, don't forget to watch all the way through, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, let all your friends know about the video game votary, don't forget to subscribe and follow all of the video game votary syndicate, which is the forefront, my leaders, my crew, my guys that help me, Chris G, Chris B, Kenny Mac. Shay, Born Again Nerd, and Richards the Gamer. Shout out to all of them. It's your boy Video Game Voter, signing off.